All right, all right, it's getting dark. I got here late. Um, I am, got to, first of all, I gotta tell you, I made a mistake. I thought I had not put the gold from these uh, little bit of pens there I recovered in a couple of videos ago. I'd already put it in there, so I don't know the weight, and it's pretty small. Uh, I was hoping for, you know, maybe a gram and a half. I doubt I'll get a gram out of this, but that color looks beautiful, man. I've dropped uh, one batch. This would be the third time, and the um, batch where that scrap is, you know, gold waste, uh, gold recovered from e-waste video, uh, that little bit of, is in there. I think that's probably like 2 to 3, 0.2 to 0.3 grams. Not much, maybe even less, but the color looks great. We're gonna wash it down. Tomorrow we'll put some sulfuric acid or sulfamic acid in there, and maybe we'll drop, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's kind of late now, but uh, man, that looks really good, doesn't it? And I have to keep the process outside because in my fume hood, I am working on reducing my copper nitrate to reuse and uh, I have to separate them because I made just a little bit of silver chloride in that. But there you go, man. Doesn't that look great? I, just, I love that color, man. That just looks beautiful. That gold chloride acid. I mean, it's just beautiful. All right, all right, welcome to my channel. Uh, we are going to drop this gold today. I have the fume hood going in the background for when I bring this in um, under the gun because we're losing daylight fast. So we are going to drop some sulfuric acid in here. Right there, a little sulfuric acid and see if we have any lead form. Man, I have dropped this like three times, so I don't think there's gonna be any, but this also burns up some nitric acid, so we'll we'll see if any precipitate forms. I really, I don't think so, so I'm gonna love sulfuric acid, so we're gonna give it a couple more drops there. All right, and the rest will go in my sulfur cell. So I didn't really see anything. So we will uh, drop a little bit of sulfamic acid in there to uh, burn it up. Hmm. We've used all the nitric. And now I got a little salt there. Oh, that sucks. But better safe than sorry. So we're going to dilute. drop this is a uh, SMB stump out and uh, feel like I should kind of change that up but man. we're just gonna do it in the container That's a really good color drop. That's the magic, man. I love seeing that. So we'll let it drop. So add just a little bit more. And I'm gonna heat that up and we'll let it settle out and tomorrow we will check it out. All right, hey, thanks for watching. It's always a blast. Uh, I just wanna say thanks to everyone, man. It, it, it's really exciting and this, uh, Two gram challenge by 321 Precious Metals. Hey man, thanks for uh, accepting it. You know, it's a little shout out, a little friendly competition between small refiners, you know. And uh, this, isn't, this isn't gonna be breaking the banks by any, we're not taking this to Fort Knox, but you know, every little bit counts. So thanks again. And the subscriber giveaway rules will be posted on Friday. We're gonna knock that out and hopefully get that done by the end of the month. All right guys, thank you so much.
Да. This will go in my stock spot that's underneath my view hood. There's a little bit of gold in. I'm not gonna chase that after it lets settle down tonight. I got things to do. I'm too impatient to that's a you know, real small amount in my opinion. Uh, not yeah, I also believe that everything counts, but I don't have the time for it, so I'll drop it in my stock pot and go after it later. So we'll have some more. Uh, that's not too bad, you know, for free scrap stuff. Anyway, it's not great, man. That's like 10 years of accumulation of sumo goods. So this is the second water boil. We'll go through one more, uh, then a hydrochloric acid boil, some washes, and then I'll boil it with the ammonia to clean it up and then another couple of rinses to get that brown color going after. Those deep things of all the silver came out of the solution of uh, that electrolyte from the last cell. We did a wave on that, kind of figure out what the percent of the silver was left in that. But, and here's a little bit of a sacrificial gold that's dropping out, and I mean, that's, that's a really small amount, but I'm gonna put it in the stock pot and roll. So, second boil. So I'm starting the hydrochloric acid boil. I did three boils of water. Now we're going to boil with hydrochloric acid to get it in the out. Pretty base level, really. And then uh, I'm going to uh, do another rinse, put the rinse water in here, and then uh, ammonia, and then rinse water again. And this will go into my stock pot later. And we're cutting it close, I got 10% of the battery left. So this is the hydrochloric acid oil, and I'm going to let that go. I don't know if it's five more minutes, and then we'll start the rinses. And I might, my camera might run out. Let the charger pull it up at work. And then we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get through this. Here we go. I like using it, that I'm going to have to uh, shut it down. I just wanted to 
show you. This is like when you start a speed station up when it's cold. Sometimes that's shaking, man. You can't help it. But anyway, that's what we have. We're going to uh, just let it go just for a little bit longer. And I'm going to have to wash that a couple more times. And we'll call it a night. I'll try and find that scale, but I don't know really where it is. Uh, well, I probably should have put some sand in that. I uh, put a little water in it right now because it popped so bad. Some of the water actually came out of that. I probably lost a little value, but then most of all, maybe scream the S word. Uh, so we're going to wipe that up, put that probably in my uh, rag jar to be my process later. But uh, we're going for it. So this scale is 30. So it's 36 grams for this beaker, and I'm going to have to put that gold in there. It's like I said, I'll have that smaller scale that's more accurate. It's kind of a drag, but that's because I don't put stuff back. Anyway, we're going to just get a rough estimate later. So we're drying it out here, and I'll put it in here. Later, we'll get an idea of what we're doing. All right, we're going to go after it. <clears throat> so I'm going to zero out my scale. And we're going to put this... Man, I don't like the color of this. I'm not going to lie. It's brown, dark brown. Not that cinnamon color I like. So that scale does not go to tenths or hundredths. So what we have there is so far one gram of recovered gold and I'm going to call it one gram since I can't find my other scale so uh, the challenge is not looking good on my side all right this only has a place value of one it doesn't do tenths and hundredths like the small scale and I can't find it so uh, the rules are hey man you know that looks like one gram to me uh, however it's not as clean as this so it doesn't get added and I just want to show everyone out there that you know you can re successfully recover gold from any waste that was a little button I made this year from uh, the pen, penless CPUs and some pens that I had in acid peroxide. And that's really like 2.3 grams, but I just, you know, want to show you that it can be done and it can, you know, you can get a little gold from this stuff, but that, uh, that batch is not going into this for my one ounce bar. I think that's about 13 grams in there, maybe a little more, but you can't find the scale. So you don't know. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to back out here. Let's give you a little side view. How about that? We're going to be on a roller coaster. So we have the silver we dropped. I mean, the gold we dropped today. Uh, some I did, you know, this summer. And uh, that's my, once it's really, that's been, I think that's been refined four times. But I can't put that in there. 